Punjab Information Minister Fayez Il Hassan Shuin on Monday said that for the first time in country's history, nation saw a free and fair electoral exercise in the form of October 14 by polls, Airy News reported. Talking to media, the minister said that the whole nation saw that there was zero interference by the ruling party and the polls were conducted in a transparent manner. Prime Minister Imran Khan and his team deserve credit for the conduct of such transparent exercise, said Chuan. He said that it was witnessed by everyone that no institution like police, local administration, Beit al Mall or Benazir income support program was used to influence the results of by election in the favor of PTI. He further said that people also saw that no federal or provincial minister or advisor addressed to the general public meeting of any candidate of PTI during their election campaign. In the past, development funds were used to get election results in one's favor. Moreover, government machinery and institutions were also used for the purpose said the minister. Chun said that even PMLN leaders have admitted the bipoles were completely fair and free. The provincial minister concluded by saying that success of PTI and its allies on six out of eleven seats of National Assembly is a glaring evidence of confidence people of the country have in PM Imran Khan. Bipoles in 35 constituencies of National and Provincial Assemblies were held across the country on Sunday, October 14. According to results issued by ECP's result transmission system, Pakistan Muslim League Nawats and Pakistan Tehreek Insaf managed to grab four NAS seats each while PTI's ally PMLQ surprised everyone by winning two NAS seats. Polling was carried out without any interruption from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. For the first time overseas Pakistanis also exercised their right to vote through iVoting. The ECP had launched the overseas voting system on September 1 for today's by-elections. Out of 790,000 Pakistanis living abroad, of which 631,909 were eligible for iVoting, only 7,419 people registered to vote out of which 85% voted in today's bi-polls.